Inning started with a VR home run. Now Aguilar down the right field line. It is slicing Alcantara on the run and it buries at the base of the wall. Coming around to score is Santana. It'll be an RBI double for Aguilar. Now this might be one of those you're going to take a look at. This might be one of those ground rule double got caught under the pad. I think that uh, the Reds are going to take a look at it. Remember that happened earlier this year. Cost the Brewers a run. And a big one at that. That was at home, I believe. Hey, go in, you dig it out. And then the umpires, uh, yeah, maybe take a look at it to see if the ball was caught under the pad. Well, this is a pretty good piece of hitting by Aguilar on a pitch down, slices it down that right in right field. Now is it caught underneath that pad? Now Contra goes after it, and by the time he gets it in, yeah, it's too late to get Santana. Well, this is reviewable. You can take this to a a challenge, and I'm not sure it'll be an official challenge from Price. Typically, the crew chief can go to the grounds rules review, if you will, or the crew chief review is what it would be called. But you can clarify the ground rules. Craig Council already shaking his head as if he knows the outcome of this. Yeah. It looked like it was caught underneath that pad. You have to play it. It does not mean that. You know it's a live ball. The umpires can go back right here. You can see it. it gets caught right underneath that pad. That's some bad luck for the Brewers and Aguilar. And we'll see what the umpires say. It did take Alcantara a little bit extra time to dig it out. This will be the difference in a run or not. If it's in the pad, it is a going to be a ground rule double, and I doubt they would score Santana. This will be interesting, though. Close. It was close, and they, and they have the angle to show the runner where he was, where to place runners. Certainly, Aguilar is going to end up at second regardless. And it's a double for him. Right. The question is, does he get an RBI? Or was it under the pad, or was it just outside the pad? So the crew chief, Field and Colbert, is over there with. The calling umpire, Mark Carlson, the first base umpire. I guess the longer this takes, the better it looks for the Brewers. Right there now, is it under the pad or is it just kind of laying there outside the pad? It doesn't look like he had to really dig it out at all. It's a tough one. I remember Prince Fielder. Had an inside the park home run at Miller Park one year on a play similar to that against the Blue Jays one year. Alex Rios went over and he did not feel the ball like Alcantara did. He just raised his hands. And the ground rule at Miller Park is that you have to go dig it out. Right. And Fielder just kept on running and no replay back then, so it was scored as an inside the parker. It didn't look like it was lodged underneath that pad. I think that's what they're looking at in New York. And the longer this goes, the better it is for Milwaukee because at first glance it looked like it was under the pad, but does he actually dig it out as it's stuck under there? I don't think it is. That's just a bad break all the way around. It hits into that seam, which deadens it, and it just lays there. I don't think that was wedged underneath that padding. Now waiting on a ruling from the replay review center in New York. And here comes the call and safe. Well, not yeah, and they're gonna score the runner. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. So no no overturn. 